Thanks, Pierre. Um, so the national map this is a joint project between um, uh, Geoscience Australia, NICTA, and the Department of Communications. So um, this is a bit of a, a different project in that we're not necessarily showing you some data that we want you to do something interesting with. What we're showing you is a kind of a, a prototype application and framework that we've put together. And what we're suggesting is that at GovHack you might want to integrate some new data set into this thing or um, add some fancy functionality to it. So it's an, an initiative of the um, Office of Spatial Policy as part of the Department of Communication. So we're about providing easy access to authority and other spatial data and uh, facilitating that in a kind of an open framework way. So you can imagine that if you have a, a, a central application that's doing integration of data and you've got it from a whole bunch of different providers, so you've got things from a, the, a government uh, open data directory, so uh, data.gov.au, you've got um, uh, map imagery and elevation data and data coming from um, large government agencies as well as from um, state uh, state data sets and they're all being integrated and visualised in a, in a central um, uh, uh, browser-based platform. So in an open national map you really end up with a, a solution that um, allows you to visualise authoritative data services, it's multi-jurisdictional, it's multi-custodian, it's multi-vendor at the back end, it's multi-format um, and it's an open framework so it's, it's all available in, in an open source way. And we're, we're really about uh, providing easy access to the, um, the data sets and services itself through the UI. So you use the UI to browse and um, find what you want and, and then you can quickly get from, the, from that to the data itself. And we're um, uh, also about uh, offering a platform for co commercial and community innovation and I guess that's why um, we're talking about this as part of uh, GovHack. So in terms of an architecture, it's really about having a, a user interface with a, a kind of a, a data management or an orchestration layer underneath um, and uh, elements that are about 3D uh, visualisation as well as kind of 2D failback for um, people who are unfortunate enough to have old Internet Explorer browsers because they work in government agencies. Um, and so what I thought I could do is give you a quick demonstration of that. So this is a, the prototype that we've put together and it allows you to do fancy kind of visualisation. So you can zoom out, you can zoom in, we can look at, and you can tilt the world, and you can zoom into a particular location and find it like you want. And then you might want to choose data that comes from a particular area. So you might choose to show um, suburbs for instance, and the data shows up, and then you're able to uh, put on other information as well. It might come from other agencies. So here we've got some data from the Bureau of Meteorology that we're also able to show. Aquifer contours may not be shown. But yes, you can get the kind of the So that's the Cesium browser allows you to do a whole bunch of fancy, you know, Google Earth style um, visualization in, in an open framework using WebGL. And so currently available data sets, so there's, uh, there's a bunch of data in there at the moment from um, GA and uh, the Bureau of Meteorology, uh, uh, Bureau of Stats, and um, there's, there's lots of other um, data, uh, data sets and services coming in there as well. Uh, so, so we're currently uh, producing a beta. I just gave you a demo of it, so it's, it's on track. Um, we should have something that we can um, show people in, in detail at GovHack and, and get you to do some, some fancy stuff to it. And if there's something that you'd like to do in the meantime, there's the email addresses there of my colleagues at NICTA. And if you send us your uh, information, we, we may well be able to um, uh, include other data or um, or services in in the national map application for GovHack. So, thanks, Pear. Thank you.